Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about the book The Imitation of Christ. It's actually an interesting story how I found out about this book. So I was reading about the French Revolution and how the royal family was imprisoned in the Temple Tower. The only surviving member of the royal family was Marie Therese, the king's daughter. And she had only two books to read while she stayed in the tower and one of them was The Imitation of Christ. So The Imitation of Christ is a Christian devotional book which was written around the year 1418 by Thomas A. Kempis. This book is one of the most read Christian devotional books after the Bible, so I thought it might be worth reading. The book came out of a reform movement within the church which is called Devotio Moderna, which means modern devotion, and wanted to refocus the church to Christian moral values and genuine humility. So it's an interesting experience to read a medieval devotional book, and you can definitely tell that the perspective and way of talking are different from how many Christians talk about Christ and their faith today. I enjoyed reading the first part of the book the most and could relate to it. The middle section of the book felt a little repetitive. I think this book has a few good reflections and provides a lot of food for thought. You will notice when you read the book that the author changes perspective sometimes. The author seems to be very knowledgeable in the Christian faith and has reflections on different parts of scripture. I'm going to read a little section of the book to you now so that you can get a first impression of what the book is like. This section is from Thoughts on Death in the 23rd chapter of the book. Very soon your life here will end. Consider then what may be in store for you elsewhere. Today we live, tomorrow we die and are quickly forgotten. Oh, the dullness and tiredness of a heart which looks only to the present, instead of preparing for that which is to come. Therefore, in every deed and every thought, act as though you were to die this very day. If you had a good conscience, you would not fear death very much. It is better to avoid sin than to fear death. If you are not prepared today, how will you be prepared tomorrow? Tomorrow is an uncertain day. How do you know that you will have a tomorrow? What good is it to live a long life when we amend that life so little? Indeed, a long life does not always benefit us, but on the contrary, frequently adds to our guilt. Would that in this world we had lived well throughout one single day. Many count up the years they have spent in religion, but find their lives made little, little holier. If it is so terrifying to die, it is nevertheless possible that to live longer is more dangerous. Blessed is he who keeps the moment of death ever before his eyes and prepares for it every day. <laughs>